So this is a 2008 Mustang with a 4 liter in it, big V6. So basically this is, um, you know, a um, thing about visual inspection. So this car come in with a uh, check engine light and when it's, uh, when you say money light, uh, you do mean money light in this case. A lot of times you can run around with checking the light on, it's, you know, some emissions crap related and doesn't affect performance, but if you live in a state that does inspections, you won't be able to get an inspection sticker. So, you have to deal with it eventually. Um, anywho, I pulled the codes. I pulled the codes and it had a boatload of codes and I wrote them down. I have no idea if you'll be able to read that. But, um, all throttle related. So anytime you get a code that starts with a 2, get your wallet out. That's no good. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 codes that start with a 2. P2100, P2104, and on and on and on. So this customer, uh, they had their guy look at it and um, you know, a P2 code is, is generally a nail in a coffin for the throttle. You know, it's drive by wire and they fail. They go out a lot, especially on Fords. So the other guy look at it, he put a known good throttle body on it and said it didn't fix it and they need a PCM or computer as they call it. Brain box, things like that. The technical savvy, you know, that's how they refer to it. So the customer came to our dealer to get a computer and our parts person is always looking out for us said uh, that that sounds a little iffy he said once you get it checked out again once you get a second opinion and here we are so the first thing you do the first thing I do with anything is a, a pre-visual inspection. Now with a check in and light, you can do a, a, a pretty decent inspection, but you really don't know what you're after until you pull the code because it could be anything. You know, unless the car's been wrecked and there's obvious damage to something. But a, a pre-inspection uh, simply entails checking the oil level and the coolant level before you take it out for a rip and see if there's fuel in the tank. I don't know how many times I get a customer bring a car to me to work on there's no antifreeze in it. It's completely empty. So we checked the oil and the coolant. It was good. Now it's you're you're good to start the vehicle and drive it or whatnot. We pulled the codes, got all those you know codes, and I think I looked at it real quickly in the book. But I think like the third step, the first step is like checking power on ground to the throttle. But I think the third step is to check the throttle, and make sure it works. You know, is it binding? Does it have obstructions? Let's check that. Guess we'll look at the air filter too. So easy to get to. Too terribly bad. All right, so there she is. This is our motor that controls the throttle, and this is our TP sensor that tells computer, you know, what's going on. And there's our throttle blade, and uh, we may have a problem there. So that's uh, getting down the road. That's coming to a stoplight, and that's uh, cruising at a pretty high rate of speed. Um, <laughs> so this, this thing clearly does not work, and I don't know what they were talking about by putting a known good one on there, and it still didn't work. But we're gonna put another one on. 
This time we're going to put a really known good one on. In this case, this one. And this puppy is $500. So we redefine the money light. Pretty easy to get to. They don't pay very much either. You get a little, you get more of your time diagnosing than actually hanging the part. These gaskets are reusable, but uh, this one's, this has been a part no telling how many times, so we are going to freshen it up. She's pretty flat. Test my service advisor's capabilities to sell something and told them they needed a throttle body and uh, throttle body cleaning. You never want to put a new throttle body on without cleaning it, right? Just kidding, I didn't do that. It's a good way to get a bad reputation. So here's a correctly operating throttle body. You give it the gas and it springs back. So I hope that you guys would already know that. It's alright if you didn't. No biggie. Tore these down to spec, like so, right on the money. Plug that in. Somebody's got me messing with that wiring, but it looks like it's okay. So we will let it ride. It's not rubbing on anything. We are not trying to build a brand new vehicle here. I'm just trying to get these guys on the back on the road. Customer requested the old throttle back. Not that they don't trust us, just they want to use it to prop their kitchen door open, maybe. I don't know. That's about all it's good for. I really gotta take it back and have words with her other mechanic. Who knows? I don't know. So I idled this thing in. This thing wouldn't accept the throttle. She was not happy. So let's see if we have any throttle response. Listen to that raw power. She's a beast. So that's a little better. So there we go, we're good to go. I'll clear these codes and go take it for a rip. But uh, you know, the biggest thing is a visual inspection. Man, I mean, you know, we could have spent you know hours upon hours checking wires and following these codes and whatnot. <laughs> Did you get your hair did? Yeah, I thought it was um, thought it was the Honda. <laughs> I was like, what is it doing to the Honda? <laughs> I saw the smoke behind everything. I said, we nobody in it. <laughs>
Oh, it smokes, but it don't have it don't have it don't it can't compete with the four liter. <laughs> Something wrong with that thing. The um, GT, get it towed. <laughs> the throttle was bad. Had a bad throttle. Oh man. Uh, my Honda, my Hondu's behind this thing, and uh, my coworker taught it. I was out there revving my Honda up. Which I don't do. I can't rev it up. If I rev it up, it might blow up. So, where was I? Oh yeah. After that, um, you know, I recheck it for codes and whatnot, and send them on down the road. Send them on down the road. Oh, I think I was talking about visual inspection. Yeah, visual inspection. So I mean, we could spend a, a you know, a whole lot of time, you know following the wiring whatever but I mean generally it's like if it's pointing to a component you can do an inspection on the component make sure that you know it's there you know in this case the throttle is supposed to return it wouldn't return and just you can stop right there you don't really need to go any further to put a throttle on it ain't no good throttle all right appreciate you tuning in